Magic Creators, I'm Erin and welcome to the Whitby Public Library's program, The Great Create. So before we get started, I just want to thank Crayola.com because that is where I found my awesome idea because today we are going to be making hanging bird feeders. Look at that. It's like a little bird. So if you keep watching, I'm going to show you the materials that you need, okay? All right. Okay friends, so this is everything you need to make our bird feeders. So first things first, we need a milk carton. So I have a chocolate milk carton here, um, but you can use a, a juice carton or anything else that you've got lying around the house. I've got some paper, I've got white paper here, but if you've got construction paper at home, that works perfectly as well. We've got some twine. Um, you can also use string or ribbon or wool or anything you've got at home. I've got some super colorful markers right here, but if you've got crayons or pencil crayons or something else, you can use that too. I have some scissors. Just make sure that you've got a grown up around to help you when we start cutting, because I want to make sure everybody is safe. And last but not least, I've got some tape here. So we're going to tape everything together, but if you have glue at home, you can use that, but I had tape, so that's what we're going to use. Okay, so first things first, we want to cover our milk carton. So I'm just gonna use um, a couple pieces of paper. We're gonna cover it with that. So to start, we want to cover the top of our milk carton. So I've just got a scrap piece of paper here that I'm using and I'm just gonna quickly kind of measure so we can cut easy peasy. Doesn't have to be fancy. We're just gonna cut a piece so that we can cover the top just like that. And then I'm gonna grab a couple pieces of tape so we can tape that on. Perfect, so I'll put, tape it just like this. And then I'm gonna bring it up to the top. And you're gonna pinch it together just like that. And you're gonna tape it down the backside too. Alrighty, so we wanna grab two more pieces of tape because remember when we pinch them together at the top, we want to make sure that this is nice and tight. So we're going to take our tape and we're going to tape it just like that. And we're going to pinch the other side and tape it. Oops. Tape it just like that, friends. There we go. Looks good. Okay, next, I've got a nice big piece of paper and I'm going to tape that on too, okay? So, I'm going to grab a piece of tape to start. There we go, one in the center. And we're going to wrap it all the way around and bring it around town. Tape it up over here too. We're going to add a couple more pieces because we want it nice and snug. But, uh-oh, I have a piece that is still open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this last little piece of scrap paper and I'm just going to tape that over it so everything is blank and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so I have a couple pieces at the top, like that, like so. Flip it just like this, grab a few more pieces here. Make sure it's all as snug as a bug in a rug for when we start cutting and when we start decorating. Perfect. So, you notice how at the bottom this part's a little bit long? I'm just going to grab my scissors here and I'm just going to trim off the extra paper. And it doesn't need to be super fancy and you don't even have to trim it if you don't want to. I'm going to trim mine just so it sits a little bit better. There we go. Perfect, don't forget to put these in the recycling, friends. Okay, so now I've got a nice clean surface here and I'm gonna draw a door for my bird. So I'm gonna take my black marker here, doo -doo -doo, and I'm gonna draw a door just like this, just like so. And then I'm gonna grab my scissors and very carefully I'm gonna cut out my door, okay? And I want to make sure we're doing it nice and carefully because we don't want to hurt ourselves. There we go. We can cut through like this. 
Make sure you've got a parent by to help you if you need help. Perfect. All right, and then we're gonna cut off this piece here. Trim it up a little bit. And there we go. We have a door for our birdies to go in. Perfect. So then what we're gonna do is we want our uh, bird feeder to kind of look like a bird. So I'm gonna draw some wings on the sides and we're gonna cut those out as well, okay? So I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm gonna take my black marker again. And let's do this side first. I'm gonna cut out, I'm gonna draw some wings. And again, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna be very safe and very careful. And I'm gonna punch a hole right through. And I'm just gonna cut along the wing that I drew. We just wanna make sure, friends, that you don't cut it all the way like we did our door. You wanna stop right at the top of your wing, right where you stopped drawing, because then we're gonna stick our fingers through our door and we're gonna pop, pop our wings out, just like that. So before we do the second wing, I'm just gonna grab a quick piece of tape because I want my paper to stick to my uh, my milk carton there. So I'm just gonna add a little piece of tape on the other side, beautiful. And now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna draw a wing on this side as well, okay? Just like that. And then just like on the other side, again, be careful with your scissors, ask a grown up for help. We're gonna pop our scissors through the milk carton here. There we go. Okay, and we're just going to cut along where our wing is. We're being very safe, very careful, all the way up to the top, and then we're going to stop. And then we're going to stick our hand in here, and we're going to pop out our other wing. And just like the first time, we're going to take a piece of tape, and we're going to tape the paper down to the milk carton so it doesn't move. And then there you have it, friends. You've got a door for your birdies and you've got two wings. And now it's time to decorate our bird feeder, okay? So I'm gonna take my trusty black marker again and I'm gonna give my bird some big, awesome eyes. So I'm gonna draw some eyes on my birdie. And I'll give him, so he can see just like that. Perfect, do it on this side. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I think I'm gonna give my birdie some eyelashes. There we are. Whoops! We've got our bird right there, but we're not done yet. I'm gonna take my yellow marker here and I'm gonna give my birdie a beak. So it's just gonna draw a triangle like that with the bottom long part of the triangle at the top and then the edge pointing down, just like this. So I'm gonna color that in Perfect, and now we have a beak on our bird. And so I really love polka dots. So I'm gonna decorate my bird with some polka dots. And I think I'm gonna do purple polka dots because I really love purple. So let's grab my purple and I'm gonna start drawing some polka dots to decorate my bird feeder. Do one there, one down there, got one over here in the corner. We'll drop some on these sides here. Polka dots, polka dots. But I'm gonna leave my wings blank for now because I'm gonna give those a different decoration. So we're gonna flip it over. Don't forget to decorate the back. We want it as colorful as we can make it. Some polka dots. Maybe three and four. And color those in. And we're gonna do some on this side. Perfect, down at the bottom, I'm leaving this wing blank. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my blue, which is another color I love, and I'm gonna do some stripes on my bird's wing because I also love stripes. 
We're gonna do some blue stripes on one wing, flip it over. We're gonna do some blue stripes on the other wing. And I think my birdie needs a little more color, so I'm gonna grab my pink, because I also love pink. I think I'm gonna do some squiggles, because squiggles are fun. So we'll do some squiggles here, and here, and here. There we go. Lots of squiggles all over my bird. All right, friends, so I think I'm done for now. Put the cap back on my pink marker there. So there is my bird feeder. So you can obviously paint your bird if you want. You can decorate it a lot more. Um, and then we have one more step before we're all done. So we're gonna take our scissors and I want you to go, go get a grown up. I'm gonna give you a quick second. Go grab a grown up and tell them you need help because we're gonna, we're gonna put a hole in the top here. And I want to make sure that everybody is doing that safely, okay? So when your grown-up gets there, you're going to grab some scissors. And we're just going to poke through. Careful, careful, careful. Poke through to the other side. And then we're going to take our twine or our string. And grab a good size piece. Use your scissors to cut that off like so. Just like that. And then we're going to take our twine. And we're going to put it through the hole that we just had our, our grown-up help us poke. There we go. So push it through to the other side. There we go. Awesome. And then we're just going to tie the top. I'll pull mine a little bit more. And tie the top together. And you can ask for help for this too because sometimes tying knots is hard. There we go, tops tied together. And now I can hang my birdie from a tree or from a door. And you can fill the bottom with bird seeds so that your birds will come and visit. All right, friends, here we go. Awesome, great creators. Look at our bird feeders, so much fun. So um, if you wanna take a look in the description, I've posted a couple of links for you. There's a couple books about birds and there may be a few craft books there so you can find some other crafts to do around the, around the house while you're still at home. Um, and don't forget to check us out on social media at whippylibrary.ca. Um, we're also on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. So give us a shout and uh, check our YouTube channel for more crafts, okay? Have a great day, bye.